happy 50th birthday. I want to take this opportunity to celebrate your birth. Today's a good day to do it. And I also wanted to get some other friends and family to submit a very quick video of why we love you and why we're happy you're alive. When I was thinking about what I should say in this, there are a couple things that come to mind. Uh, number one, one of the things I love about you is your dedication to great American Mexican food. And specifically, I'm talking about Taco Bell. There have been a number of occasions when you come back to the US and the first thing you go for is Taco Bell. I've yet to join that bandwagon, but there is hope. Maybe I could change. Secondly, I love how you interact with Cameron. That example is uh, something I would really wish to follow when Jing and I have our first hybrid next March. I think it is an amazing thing that you find any way to get in touch with Cameron on a daily basis, whether it's a home in England or when we were on vacation in Barcelona, um, you go out of your way to stay in touch with uh, your son. And that, I know it means a lot to him, and I'm going to use that for when I'm a father, and it's meant a lot to me. So I'm glad that we've had a chance to get reconnected last year, and every Sunday we try to find some way to Skype with each other, and I look forward to having a fantastic birthday party for you uh, this week in San Diego. Love you. Hi, Larry. Happy birthday. I wish I could be there, but little one here is not helping. Anyway, have a very good time with the family and uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bye. Bye. Hey Larry. This is your other mother in North Carolina. Happy, 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 happy birthday. This is a very special time for you. It's a big landmark in your life. I was going to say you're such a fine young man. And I thought, mm, wait a minute, at 50, I should probably delete young and simply say you've grown into a fine gentleman, an outstanding father, and I'm so very proud of you. Larry, I'll always honor and treasure the trust you gave me one day long ago during our chat on the bedroom steps when you were a very young man. I think about this conversation to this day, and I think of you often. My love to you, always, your other mother. Hey Larry, <clears throat> happy birthday. Uh, sorry I couldn't make it, but um, I'll answer those two questions. What do I love most about you? You're the ultimate guys guy. Want to go out for a drink, want to discuss man stuff, want to watch sports, want to, I know, <laughs> get in, in a bit of trouble, you're the first person to call. You're the ultimate guy's guy, probably the guy that everyone wants to have as an older brother or a surrogate dad. What do I like most about you? Has to admit, it's the Larry Selick workout. Sweet, efficient, doesn't take much time, you can do it every day, and most importantly, it's not very results oriented. Anyway, have a good one. Hey Larry, it's your sister Sherry. Wishing you a happy, 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 happy 50th birthday. You don't look a day over 25. That's probably because of the London fog. But now you're coming to celebrate your birthday here in lovely, lovely San Diego. And we're all looking forward to having a fantastical fiesta for your birthday. See you soon. Hi, Larry. Uh, happy birthday, and uh, many more, I hope, as, at least as many as I've had. Uh, I remember when I first saw you, you were in a um, oh, playpen and uh, just crawling around, and a uh, cute little guy. <laughs> And uh, you were pretty good all through the years. 
and uh, you had to grow up in a hurry when you came to spend a couple of years with us, two or three. I don't remember exactly how long you were. It seemed like a long time looking back, but it, or a very short time. But uh, and I remember how frustrated you were when you learned how to play uh, uh, a ball with a, a ball game with a tennis type racket. I forget the name of the game, but anyway, you went through a lot of rackets. But you recovered and, and got to where you could play it pretty well. And uh, I remember you stepped up when we had the automobile accident and you took care of the car while everybody took me to the hospital. And that was really a brave thing for a little boy to do. Well, you were a tall boy then. Or getting taller, but uh, and you've gotten taller since then, and you've uh, blossomed. Nice, nice guy now. We enjoy being around you. Thank you. Bye. Happy I said that first. Happy birthday first, second, and third, <laughs> <laughs> and many more. <laughs> Now, uh, I've got to get this. Uh, there's a young man here. Young? No, 50. 50 is not young. I think he's my, uh, no, he's my grandson. Uh, 50 years? That is almost as old as I am. I don't know how they get so old so soon. It took me a long time to get old. But uh, if he wants to be 50, why, so be it. Let him be 50. I don't care. Uh, I just don't want him to enroach on any of my years, years at all. How much more time have I got? Do I have four minutes. <laughs> you got four minutes. <laughs> four minutes? <laughs> I, uh, happy, do, I have, do I have to, can I sing sure. happy birthday? No, you don't want to hear me hear, sing happy birthday. And... I think that you're probably sick and tired of hearing me right now. You'd probably just as soon hear some dead air rather than listen to me uh, talk to you about your birthday. But I will say this, and we were just talking about it outside, some of the grand experiences that we had with you and, have, and your being with us, giving us the pleasure of having you. And when we lived in um, Malawi, in Africa and we just had a great time and uh, you fitted in very well with the African kids that lived right in our neighborhood that was fine you played their games you guys played soccer and all kinds of things and you had a great dog who you named Mac unfortunately the African bees got him right after we left and did away with him uh, that uh, that was a pretty sharp story. We didn't tell you that story for a long time, but <laughs> you found out about it. But um, what what am I saying? <laughs> well, anyhow, um, it it was it was a great experience for us, and and uh, you and I had a lot of fun, and doing things and going up to that lake um, in that neighboring town. I I can't recall which one it was, but. We had a lot of fun up there and fishing. That was a that was the thing that uh, not having a daughter, and that I had a grandson, uh, made it important because I had to take up things like fishing, baseball, all of that kind of stuff, which I didn't do with daughters, but I was expected to do that with a grandson, and we did. We went fishing and we caught fish. And we had a lot of fun. We learned how to cast from a guy, from a local. Uh, that means the, an African that lives there, a local. And uh, he gave us a lesson in casting. And uh, we both did quite well at it. And we both got uh, fish. And, and that was fun. And we just had a, we had a lot of great uh, times together and enjoyed it. Can I quit now? <laughs> I want to quit now. <laughs> Happy birthday. Whether Happy you like birthday, it. Happy birthday, Larry.
Wow, 50 years. I can hardly believe it. Remember the, the actual day like it was yesterday. Well, it happened to be 1965, Monday, which was Labor Day, September 6th. And I was only in labor with you for an hour and a half, so it wasn't too bad. And you were six pounds and 19 inches long. And you were born in the morning, around nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. Maybe that's why you're not a morning person anymore. An interesting fact is that when you were born, your umbilical cord was around your neck, kind of tight. They had to work on it for a while. And when you were born, we lived in Ocean Beach, and your crib was in the living room because it was only a one bedroom. Hi, Sherry. And then we moved to, and you were there for your first birthday and your first haircut, which were the same day. And we moved to Pacific Beach to a couple of places, and then we moved to Mission Hills, where you lived in four different houses. And you went to live in Africa between the ages of 13 and 15 for two years in Malawi with your grandparents. And then you went to university at UCSD and you graduated in 1987. Then in the 90s, you lived in England for about two years. Uh, then you went to San Diego State University and got your MBA in the late 90s and you moved to England in the spring of 2001, in case you forgot yeah, anything. And so happy, happy 50th birthday.